was all dealt with. So that's a that's one example of a you know of a good outcome. Okay. What I'm often finding, though, are bad, bad outcomes because uh, this, this tends to, or the availability of this information tends to prompt people who are likely to be anxious about their health to read up on things. And uh, unfortunately, without the medical training, which provides a, a, you know, a, a very large context, mm-hmm. Uh, people are going in and kind of looking at lists of symptoms and then coming up with, I've got, oh gosh, I've got this disease or I've got that disease. Perhaps the more dangerous uh, aspect of that is when people go, they find whatever, and then they minimize what they have and do not seek help in time. And then that can lead to very negative outcomes, uh, you know, clinically speaking. It amazes me that people think that they can just search the Internet in minutes and come up with the cure, that it takes years and years and years and years of, of, of learning and clinical work that a, that a doctor goes through. It's, it just boggles my imagination. But it's fascinating, and we live in a society of sort of instant information, and, and uh, I, I think that just carries over into, you know, you can look up movie stars mm-hmm. uh, on, the, on the web and get the information you need instantly. Well, why can't you look up uh, a disease or symptoms and get the information that you need instantly? But you're absolutely right. There's this very large, uh, you know, extensive context that has to be considered uh, when dealing with human lives. That's right. And, that, and that's, that's what we're doing in medicine. Exonation, Dr. Z is our special guest. Actually, his name is Dr. Zugridis. Um, his website is www.livingholelivingwell.com. Another book that you wrote is called Stop Feeling Tired, 10 Mind, Body, Spirit Steps to Fight Fatigue and Feel Your Best. Fatigue, stress, big problems in today's society, doctor. How should people deal with it? This is uh, the uh, golden question of the day, uh, because we're all suffering from lots of stress, mm-hmm. and, and I'm absolutely convinced that a key component of fatigue, and, that's, and we're talking about fatigue that's not due to medical conditions like anemia or you know, low thyroid, something like that, yeah. uh, but just kind of everyday average typical fatigue, uh, I'm, 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 I'm finding that stress with you know, most of the people I, I work with uh, and then most, most of the people I know, uh, are, it's really, uh, you know, creating uh, you know, a situation where, where people are getting more and more exhausted. So we have to kind of look at, you know, what's going on. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what not to do, uh, and that is, you know, take you know, stimulant medications and, and uh uh, you know, uh, drinking lots and lots of coffee and things. Mm-hmm. So when, in, our, in our book, Stop Feeling Tired, what we're trying not to do is, like, get people busier and more, 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 more pepped up than, than they need to be. We, want, we look for something uh, or solutions that are uh, promoting balance in life, and, and that's actually the, kind of the larger theme uh, for us is, is that when things are in balance, when the body is in balance, when the mind is mm-hmm. in balance, when the spirit's in balance, that uh, people have just kind of the right amount of energy versus too little or too, or too much. It's nice to see more and more members of the established professional medical community like yourself, uh, Dr. Z, bringing mind, body, spirit together, because I've always believed that this is the formula that has been missed by so many in the past, and um, whether it is, you know, the hands-on approach uh, to by the members of the community, medical community, touching people, the holistic touch or whatever, it's nice right. to see. And as a, as a professional doctor, are you seeing more and more of your, of your colleagues, in, you know, uh, holding on to this concept and, and practicing it? And does it really make a big difference to your patients? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the last question first, which is absolutely, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. And I'm, I, I, I'm really an advocate uh, of, of looking at the entire person, taking a holistic mm-hmm. approach, which for me is 
body, mind, and spirit. Right. Uh, so I, I can't I can't imagine trying to work with somebody to really get long term outcomes without looking at all of those areas. Uh, and and it's really unfortunate because in medical training, as it stands in most places in in the Western world, uh, there's a focus on uh, well, it's pathology based. So there's a focus on disease. And then what pill do you, you know, give the patient to mm-hmm. fix it? So all the exams, all the training, it's very focused on disease and then pill or surgery or some kind of treatment uh, for that. Uh, very little in terms of looking at the mental components of everything uh, in, in addition to the physical components. And then you know, spiritual components are even further out uh, in terms of most, most medical professionals. Uh, I am seeing increasing numbers of medical folks uh, at least acknowledging the the you know the presence of these other mm-hmm. other uh, factors in in life, uh, but uh, I I also encounter a lot of folks that don't know how to do it do it what what to do with it. Uh, I'm very very blessed in the fact that I was a clinical psychologist. I still am a clinical psychologist, but I was that for twenty something years before I went and then trained to become a family physician. So I was very fortunate to have the holistic perspective of mm-hmm. psychology, the non-medication uh, uh, biopsychosocial view that comes from that field uh, as I entered into medicine. And at times it's been frustrating because there's such a focus on pills uh, in, in current medicine. Uh, it, gets, uh, it, it, can, it gets to be challenging sometime when you're dealing with the medical yeah. establishment, I, yeah, for sure. All right, Dr. Standby, you and I have to take our news break at the bottom of the hour. Exonation. Dr. Zugridis is our special guest this hour. He's known by his love handle, Dr. Z. His website is www.livingholelovingwell.com. And I don't know what I said that was so funny, but I can hear him chuckling in the well, background. I'm just my wife commenting on my love handles. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Live radio, you've got to love it. Dr. Z, Dr. Z and I will be back on the other side of this news break as we continue here in the Exxon with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and around the world on the Exxon Broadcast Network. Are you considering calling a psychic to read your situation? Then consider David Champion, a psychic medium for more than 20 years with thousands of readings under his belt. David Champion will make you feel comfortable. He has proven to be honest and accurate. He's a straight shooter. There's no guesswork. What he sees is what you get. While he is a medium, most of the calls focus on relationships. Not only love, but work, school, neighbors, and more. Need help with finding a job and preparing for the interview? Are you dealing with people who are obstacles in your path? For more information, go to davidchampion.com. $1.50 $1.50 per minute, paid by credit card, with a minimum of 30 minutes. For your reading with David Champion, call one 702 8598 That's one 702 8598 Now you can dial in to listen to the Exxon Radio Show from anywhere in the world with Rob McConnell 24-7-365 by dialing 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080. If you have a mobile phone or landline, the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is now at your beck and call at 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080, 24 7 365. Hi, this is Elizabeth Joyce with Stargazing for the X-Zone for the week of April 28th. The sun will look like a ring of fire above some remote parts of the Southern Hemisphere on Tuesday during a solar eclipse, but most people around the world won't get a chance to see it. Whereas lunar eclipses occur when there's a full moon, the solar eclipse only happens during a new moon. Half the world saw the blood moon lunar eclipse during the full moon of April 15th. 
Tuesday's eclipse will occur when the moon is closest to its farthest distance from the Earth, making it too small to cover the sun completely. The resulting effect looks like a ring of fire called an annulus, and that appears as a silhouette around the moon. Remember, when there's a new moon, there's no moon at all. The worldly application of a Taurus solar eclipse is to help you get in touch with your core values. It blocks out personal ego desires to go right to what your inner spirit wants to manifest. The opportunity is to bring higher values and greater beauty into your life now. The new moon and solar eclipse on Tuesday may send the world into a mild tizzy. Watch North Korea and the Ukraine for major upsets with government. But you will get another opportunity to consolidate whatever advantages you have gained over the past few months. A Taurus new moon is excellent for putting practical effort into your needs and desires. Health and wellness options get a boost early in the week, perhaps prompting you to consider a new diet or exercise routine. There's also positive news on the work front, as changes can mean a boost in earnings or a promotion. If you've been applying for a new job, you may get some good news. Later, Venus glides into Aries, which brings romance and pleasure. Look, your love life is looking much livelier. Enjoy a few social outings. It might help take your mind off some more stressful matters. Perhaps you want to make some changes in your home, new furniture, paint, whatever. Whatever comes your way, you'll probably put a lot of energy into it, so focus and accomplish what you want. Because there's lots of planets in unmovable signs, Taurus and Scorpio, as May opens on Thursday, be careful of stubborn my way or the highway thinking. Warrior Mars is still retrograde until May 19th. Consider what is dead in your life and needs to be released. Know that your highest path is shown if you go into your inner self to seek direction. Continue with hard work early in the week and then make time for a variety of fun as the month of April ends under a Gemini moon. Gemini wants to keep things on the move, talk to a lot of people, and does not get bogged down in any one thing. Enjoy May Day and the Kentucky Derby on Sunday. Time to plan for some summer fun. And if you'd like a private one-on-one consultation with Elizabeth Joyce, her website is www.new-visions.com, and Elizabeth does consultations around the world via Skype. Explanation, my guest this hour is the one and only Dr. Z. His name is Dr. Zugridis, and uh, his website is www.livingholelivingwell.com. Dr. Z, great talking to you. Congratulations on all the great work you're doing. Um, you know, Cyberchondria, I love Thank that name. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, in your opinion, what is the number one health problem facing North America today? Actually, I'm going to take it back to the fatigue, uh, and yep. I'm really finding so many patients and clients coming in complaining of this chronic exhaustion. I'm worn down. I'm burned out. I'm tired, tired, tired. And I can't tell you how, how many folks I see that, uh, even if that's not what they're coming in mm-hmm. for, di- for directly, it's definitely a component in, in what's bringing them to the doctor. Yeah, I found a sure cure for fatigue. So what's that? Mexico. Mexico, yes, and, <laughs> and it's a vacation, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right, so taking, taking a break uh, from the routine. And um, what, I've, what I, I see happening is that I, just, I see this uh, constant, hectic, uh, lifestyle that everyone's leaving, uh, leading these days. Yep. Uh, people are burning the candle at both ends, and I think it's in part because you know, as, as North Americans uh, and then elsewhere around the world, we're we're sold on this need for speed. You know, we need to push, push, push to succeed. You got to accomplish, mm-hmm. squeeze in more, and uh, everyone is stretching their personal reserves to the limit. And I think it really boils down to unrealistic expectations about what one can do versus what one should do. With all the handheld electronic devices that everyone carries, you know, you you go down to any street in any town, village, or major metropolis, you see people walking, looking down, 
texting. Right. And I, I literally the other day saw a woman texting.